hello from the second video of division of fraction in the first video we started to explore the division algorithm of fractions how a, how a fraction could be divided into another fraction we tried to understand how a fraction measured by another fraction and we operated two division operation the first one was 3 over 4 divided into 1 over 2 the second one is was 2 over 3 divided into 1 over 2 please watch again before continuing this video watch again the first video division of fraction 1 and please assume that we don't know invert and multiply algorithm and we are trying to explore it in this video we will again investigate to another operation the first one is easier 3 over 7 divided into 2 over 7 and we will try to understand how much 2 over 7 exists in 3 over 7 by the help of this dynamic application application we can easily understand that one and a half of 2 over 7 exist in 3 over 7 this means 3 over 7 divided into 2 over 7 results 3 over 2 and let's think about on another example 1 over 3 1 over 3 over 3 over 4 and what about this case what is the result of 1 over 2 3 over 3 over 4 and don't forget again we don't know invert and multiply algorithm we are trying to understand how much of 3 over 4 exist in 1 over 3 it is hard to understand now let's try different number of partition uh, of the fractions try to understand which partition will work Yeah, this will work and I think you can see that, you can see that all partitions of both fractions suitable uh, to understand how much of 3 over 4 exists in 1 over 3. As you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 ninth of 3 over 4 can measure the 1 over 3. How? 4 times of 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times or of uh, 1 ninth of 3 over 4 exist in 1 over 3. So, for one times, four times one ninth, it means four over nine of three over four exist in one over three. This means one over three over three over four equal four over nine. Yeah. This means actually what is in common 
in our four uh, cases. Actually, we equalized the denominators of fractions and we divided the numerators. Let's look out all cases. In the first video, 3 over 4 over 1 over 2 was 2 over 3. Equalized the denominators and we divided the numerators. And the second case of first video was 2 over 3 over 1 over 2. Again, we equalized the denominators and we uh, divided the numerators. In the first case of this video was the simplest case because the, 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 the denominators was already equal and uh, dividing the numerators the result was 3 over 2. And this last case of this video again we equalized the denominators and we divided the numerators. What does it mean in algebraic view? You can examine this algebraic investigation. So, as a result, if you want to divide a fraction into another fraction, it is uh, sufficient that easily invert the first, the second fraction and multiply. Thank you for watching.